title and a world champion in Dimitri Bivol. Bivol has put in a bit of a performance tonight and he needs it. Booed by it by that performance last time out, but it's certainly made a very positive. I think that's what we have to expect from Richards. Back foot, he's moving it for them. Yeah, what Richards needs to be careful of, Nick, is just as he uses that lead foot as a marker, and if he gets it. Oh, his body shot down. The receiving end of that at time yeah. overthinking, trying to keep your distance, trying to keep out the way of the fight. And he just, just, just put. There's the left hook again. Yeah. Boy, Second round, Bivol. Oh, he howled. That, that talked about the mistakes he makes that he won't get away with here. He just got away with one there, Richards. Oh, my goodness me, he walked into that. Come off that jab. He's looking for the right hand over the top there. Bivol, who is definitely. Power shots, but the fast it's too long, Craig. But this is the problem when you've got a puncher's reputation, and then your opponent feels that power. It gives them the extra time that they need to go to work. Well, that was a really good round for Dimitri. Into this one, and uh, Spider Richards from Chris. That's what Spider Richards is trying to do here. Has to keep that jab going for me, Richards. Lunges what he does. Jab, delaying the inevitable for me, for Bivol. Brings the right hand into play there, Richards, and we haven't seen... I'm out left hook. So clever, Bivol. Good, good shot. Was better. Now that was better. He got through with the follow-up right hand. A good little spell there for Richards, but Bivol is straight back on. Really good response from the champion. As this one catches fire here in round three. Put him straight back in his place. He's been picked up. Definitely effective with it. It's easier said than done, of course. Against a strong defense. This stage, still just taking his time. Comes straight back at you, and he often can. Of this uh, fourth round. Now the more, the more important part. These middle rounds of the fight, when we come up too high, you're going to get caught. You have to keep your composure now. I think as well to, to the untrained eye, this is from, from Bivol, but the front foot pressure that he applied. Well, that's my thing. Bivol defending Chester in 1964. Willie Pastrano. The body area of Bivol, I don't think I've seen him throwing any body shots yet. Richard's back with the jabs, keep the distance. Make Bivol just start reaching in and see if you can pick him up. Handling that jab, pretty effective. Well, side on view just a few moments ago, we can see it here because Bivol inches his magnifies the impact of the jab when Bivol does land it. As well, I think with in terms of Richards going to the body into a right hand because Bivol throws it with no tail whatsoever. It's better though from Richards. Good shot from Richards. But he's going to go for it. You have to leave it in the ring. And he's clean on the temple, and he has enough time left in the round. That's going to be where he's a guy with a discipline of Dimitri Bivol, you're not going to get more than maybe one or two opportunities if you're lucky. That's really handled the champion. Long side of the round, or right past the stuff, he's just doing it off every round, and, and that's very wide indeed, and it's it's tough to make a case. It's a formula. Switch. Time before he has to start throwing that shot because range in relation to it, the less you throw it, the, the more the element of surprise. Still got his reflexes about him, his jab's still working. More of the same here for Bivol. Look for the right hand there, and uh, it didn't land. It's ready until it's there. Don't give him a taste of it. He had the last word there, Richards, but uh, Bivol is miss earlier, but uh, certainly got through with the second time he landed. It's his first. I'd like to see more of that from Richards. That's what we were trying to talk about in the first couple of rounds. You've got it in your artillery. Let it go and do it. Gallagher teaches your fighters his catch and counter with the same hand. Shot go yourself and, and isn't it? I mean, we are at the midway point, and as you say, you know, Craig Richards is not winning this one on points. There's no way. But, you know, as I said, I was talking to Peter, being backed up. Bivol's also good again because of his old amateur pedigree and amateur experience. He lands a jab, he'll knock. Nice sensibly here. Yeah, there as well. Bivol, he's saying what Bivol likes to do. He'll come in, he'll land a shot, and then he'll. 
Swivel going for it here, and that's when he's going to be hitting the target first, and, and that's where I think Richards is probably more vulnerable. Dimitri Bivol is one of those guys that want to be and we don't know which one of the two he's, he's, he's boxing well he's just as well but for every one or two that he lands Bivol is landing three or four and he's being the aggressor and he's dictating the pace as he is now and that's been the difference well, it's straight yeah. back on him immediately yeah, exactly the to his own favour and more importantly for him and how he fights front foot here and force Bivol back see if that changes things up a little bit but it hasn't been completely out of his depth the, the, the way I look at it and it, again it's not really criticising Richards I just think he'll criticise himself when he got more I said the same about Liam Williams a couple of weeks back with Andy Grant it's probably been his best round in my opinion so far but he needs a big last four rounds now. Well, at some point, very great. This position he's in now, Richard, told the centre. Immediately. Richards has been a concealed wet distance and the way he glides in and out of range, he's, he's so, so fluid. Once he hasn't been near them, there you go, that's probably the closest he's been so far, but he's keeping the centre on him well, didn't he? He's keeping the centre and it, it, it's, just, it's a good little stop. A little jab to the body from, from Bibol there, but mainly they both headhunted. Stiff jab there again from the champion. Well ahead on the cards, you would think, against Craig. He's really, really filled that into the weight. His punch resistance has looked infinitely better, as it has if you look at it at home, and where your allegiances lie as well. But he can take a lot from this performance. He's not at any stage, not looked majorly hurt at any stage. He does so well and puts Richards back in his place. That's what has to keep it on him now, Bivol. Well, Richards landed the solid shot does. Body is such a big... If he does end up losing this, Richards, he'll learn so much from it. Lovely left hand, greater sense of urgency now, pressing forward. There goes for the body again. Slipping out of the way of the right hand, just start leading off. And pitches and hurt Jake Ball with it too. Sometimes he looks like he's out of range and he lets it go. And he lands on the... Yeah, Bivol looking to finish the round strongly. Again, catch the eye of the judges. It has been. James comes in. You just seen Bivol, but, but Richards is having none of it. He's never had an opponent to take him out of that comfort zone. Hastic level. Touch a big step up for it. For a way to try and break through against this unbeaten, classy world. performance. The last three rounds for Richards have been, been brilliant for him. Coming forward, attacking. He was guilty of doing early on. He was holding his own. Yep. And as you said, all night long. Oh, lovely from Bibble. Again, the flashy finish in the last few seconds. Just enough. I mean, like heavyweight title on the line against Craig Spider Richards from Crystal Palace in South. Enough rounds in the bank, and he'll just sit there and say that's it. It's Richards that needs the urgency. It tells the start the first and the, and the middle four rounds of this fight. To the final bell. That's nice from Richards. Trying to land that left hook, a really significant power punch to press it. performance defensively. It, it's levels in boxing as we always say, as a lot of people say, but listen, Craig Richards even had a future, in, in the past, sorry, in the future, he can step up to them levels. Well, Richards. And that'll do it. Well, Richards. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing here in Manchester, England, by unanimous decision, he's still undefeated yeah, got and still one had it wide. The, the other two reflected how you read Dream the fight, Paul Smith, but...